Today I'm going to be reviewing the Maxpedition of Lunata. This is part of their Gear Slinger series, and if you'd like to see more information on this, check out Maxpedition.com. I'll start out by giving you a 360 view of the pack. As you can see, this has a two inch wide strap that goes across the chest and also a smaller strap that goes across the sternum. And this is gonna support the load that you have in the pack. So if you have any quick movement, the pack stays with you. Uh, this is uh, you know, something I carry for an EDC, so this is with me every day. And I'll show you another feature that I really like about it is you take this smaller strap loose and you can spin your pack around and have access to things in your pack. Let me connect this back up and I'll show you another thing that I like about this uh, supporting strap. You take your larger side release buckle loose and the smaller strap is still going to support the bag that you have so that way you're not dropping it on the ground. So let's take a closer look at the pack in more detail and some contents that I have in it. Okay, looking at the Lonata in more detail. Just like all other Maxpedition products, this is made from a lightweight ballistic nylon material. It has a triple coat of polyurethane and also a Teflon fabric protector on it. So you get some excellent water resistance as well as some abrasion resistance to this. And you can see on this one, I have my admin pouch attached to the front of it. So of course it has some uh, Molly attachments there, but I, rather than pull all the contents out of this admin pouch, I just, and put it in the uh, Lanata. I just keep the admin pouch and uh, attach it that way. You can see it has an upper pocket, a lower pocket, and then a main compartment in here. And we'll start out by looking uh, at the uh, lower compartment, which in front it zippers loose and has a, you know, a pretty deep little pocket there that you can keep some things in. I don't have anything in it right now. And then the main lower compartment. And since I use the admin pouch, what I use this for, and it does have a key keeper in that, and uh, a nice pocket in back of it with some compression bands in front of it. I got my uh, lockpick kit in case I get locked out of my, my house, my shop, or anything. On the other side, it has uh, four compression bands on it, and what I chose to carry in is I have my holster affixed to that, so I can uh, get to my 380 pretty quick. Use one of the compression bands for an extra magazine. And this is just is the way I chose to carry mine. Of course, you could certainly do yours different. The upper pocket, you can see it has a loop filled here, so if you wanted to uh, fix uh, a name patch, uh, any kind of patches, you could certainly do that. It has an open-ended little sleeve that's open on both ends. So if you wanted to slide a knife or what not in there. You could do that. You could take this uh, shock cord, has the slide adjustment on it, tighten it down and so you can secure it right there. Zips open. You can see I have three compression bands here, which I keep a mini BIC in that. Uh, some Tylenol, hand sanitizer, a little pocket in the back of that, which I keep some wet ones in that. And you got room to put some other things if you needed to do that has these nice uh, YKK zippers with a pair of board pulls, so they're really heavy duty zippers. Main compartment, uh, what I keep in that is I have a bottle of water, and of course my FR1 first aid survival pack right there, I always keep that with me. So you can see the main compartment down in there. On the side here, I have another little zippered pocket which I don't have anything in there at the time. Actually uh, opens up and you have another little pocket here with a loop field so you could put a concealed carry there if you chose to do that. The other side has another pocket which I just carry my uh, poncho emergency shelter in there so like a day like today like it's raining you know if you wanted to slip that over you and your pack you could do that. The sides of it zipped up. You can see there's molly attachments there so if you wanted to attach something else uh, you know like your Gerber multi-tool or whatever type multi-tool you choose to use I have my GPS there this is a Maxpedition 102 CPL 
phone and radio holster. So we'll review that a little later on, but you see it has the Molly attachments there. The back end of it, you can see it has this closed cell padding. So this would add some uh, you know, shock protection on your bag, promote some airflow. Has this belt loop right here that you could affix this uh, to your belt to keep it more secure. This does open up and has another loop field in here. So if you want to carry a concealed carry right there, you could do that. Or you could take this larger strap loose and actually put it down in there and just carry this by the handle. The strap itself is a nice padded strap, two inches wide. You can see it has uh, some places where you could affix, you know, a knife, you know, whatnot. Some actually some uh, sleeves up in here that you could put something else. Some D-rings. You can see on the lower D-ring that I've slid. I have some pepper spray that slides right in that pocket, and so it's really handy when you have the pack on to be able to get to that really quick if you needed to do that. The bottom, you can see it has some drainage grommets on it, so if you have anything in your bag that's going to leak on you, it's going to drain out. So overall, that's about it. This is what I replaced my Remora that I was using for EDC. It just wasn't quite enough room. I think there's 390 cubic inches to this pack of storage capacity. So it works out better for me. And uh, so if you'd like to check this out or look at purchasing one, go to maxpedition.com. And as always, thanks for watching my videos.